You might remember that I talk a lot about steroid medications because they're a major cause of osteoporosis and needless fracture. As a matter of fact, 20% of all osteoporosis in this country are estimated to have been to be caused by the use of steroid medications like prednisone. And we have further documented, further shown the data that even inhaled steroids can be a problem. Now there's fascinating research just being released that links low-dose steroids, low-dose prednisone, actually to increased cardiovascular disease. And this is, so not only are we finding that these drugs, even in low-dose, are bad for bone, but they're also bad for the heart. The heart study was actually done looking in the United Kingdom between 19... 98 and 2017. They looked at 90,000 people, a very large sample, and what they found is that those patients using even less than five milligrams prednisone per day had an absolute doubling of risk for cardiovascular disease as opposed to those not using the steroids like prednisone. It's a serious issue that we all need to keep in mind. If we have a problem, if we have inflammation, if we have asthma, if we have even autoimmune disease, we want to work to correct the cause of that problem and not cover it up with a steroid. Sure, sometimes steroids are, have to be taken, they're life-supporting, but now we have a world of functional medicine and functional medicine doctors who can help get to the cause of the problem and help prevent the need for taking steroids. Steroids are definitely a solution to a problem that's going to cause other problems in the long term. And now we see not only osteoporosis, not only needless fracture, but also the increasing doubling the risk, even at low dose, doubling the risk of cardiovascular disease. We'll give you a link to that study if you want to show it to your doc, but let's all try to find the causes of our problems, correct those causes if we possibly can. Talk to you soon.